Imagine juggling a dozen balls in the air, but instead of balls they're your bills, your wants, your savings goals. You keep dropping some, don't you? Welcome to the world of financial balancing. It's a world where every penny counts and every decision can tip the scales of your financial stability. But here's the kicker. It doesn't have to be this hard. Enter the 70-20-10 budget rule. Sounds like a secret code, right? Well, it sort of is. It's a code to cracking the mystery of managing your money effectively. It's not a magic wand that will solve all your financial woes overnight. No, it's a starting point, a guiding light to help you navigate the choppy waters of your personal finances. Now you're probably wondering, what is this 70-20-10 rule? Well, it's a simple and straightforward way to allocate your income. Picture this, you divide your earnings into three categories. 70% for your needs, 20% for your wants, and 10% for your goals. Pretty straightforward, isn't it? But don't lose hope, dear juggler. There's a simple rule to bring order to this chaos, the 70-20-10 budget rule. It's like a financial GPS, guiding you on the road to financial stability and freedom. So, are you ready to take the driver's seat and steer your finances in the right direction? Let's dive deeper into the world of the 70-20-10 budget rule. Buckle up, it's gonna be an enlightening ride. So what's this magical 70-20-10 rule? It's like a pie chart for your money. Now, who doesn't like pie, especially when it helps you manage your finances more effectively? Let's break it. The 70-20-10 rule is a budgeting strategy that slices your after-tax income into three delicious pieces. Each piece represents a different kind of spending. The main chunk, the 70%, goes towards your needs. These are the basic, essential expenses that keep your life running. We're talking about your rent or mortgage, your groceries, utilities, and minimum debt payments. Basically, the stuff you can't avoid unless you're planning on joining a monastery or becoming a hermit. Next up is the 20% slice. This is for the things you want but don't necessarily need. It's the discretionary spending that makes life a little bit more enjoyable. Think entertainment, dining out, hobbies, and subscriptions. Yes, that includes your Netflix and your fancy coffee habit. Finally, we have the 10% slice. This is for your financial goals. This could be saving for your future needs, building an emergency or paying off debt beyond the minimum payments. It's about securing your financial future and making sure you're not living paycheck to paycheck. The beauty of this rule is its simplicity and adaptability. It doesn't demand you to track every penny or give up on the things you love. Instead, it provides a flexible framework to help you understand where your money is going. The 70-20-10 rule gained popularity because it's easy to understand, easy to implement, and can be adapted to fit different income levels and lifestyles. Whether you're a college student surviving on ramen noodles or a well-heeled professional, this rule can help you manage your money more effectively. So it's all about needs, wants, and goals. Simple, right? Let's dive deeper. And hey, if you're finding this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe our channel for more financial wisdom. Let's take control of our finances together. Let's slice that financial pie and see what each piece is made of. The first and biggest slice, taking up 70% of your pie, is for your needs. This chunk goes towards the essential expenses for daily living. We're talking about the costs that keep the lights on and the fridge stocked. Your rent or mortgage, groceries, utilities, and minimum debt payments all come from this slice. It's the meat and potatoes of your budget, the necessities that keep the wheels turning and the engine running. So how can you make the most of this slice? Start by identifying your essential needs and track your spending in each category. Moving on to the next slice, we have wants, which accounts for 20% of your financial pie. Now this is where things get a little bit more fun. This slice covers the non-essential expenses that bring you joy, the sprinkles on your financial Sunday, if you will. Think entertainment, dining out, hobbies and subscriptions. Now don't get too carried away with this slice. Remember, it's all about balance and prioritizing. You've got to find your fun within the 20% allocation without eating into your need slice. Finally, we come to the smallest but arguably the most important slice of your financial pie, the 10% dedicated to your goals. This slice is all about building your financial future. It's the cherry on top of your financial Sunday that sweetens your tomorrow. From saving for retirement, setting up an emergency fund, to debt repayment beyond minimums, this slice is your ticket to long-term financial stability and growth. There are different ways you can grow this slice, like high-yield savings accounts or investment accounts. The key here is to think ahead and plan for the future, and that's your financial pie sliced and served. But remember, one size doesn't fit all. The 70-20-10 rule is just a guide. It's a starting point to help you manage your finances, but it's not set in stone. 
It's all about finding what works best for you and your unique financial situation. So go ahead, experiment, adjust, and personalize your budget pie until it's just right for you. Are you thinking, but my needs are different? Well, you're right. And the 70-20-10 rule knows that. Let's get one thing straight. The 70-20-10 rule is not a rigid law of budgeting, but rather a flexible framework designed to adapt to your personal circumstances. It's like the yoga of financial planning. It bends and stretches according to your needs. Let's say, for example, you're carrying a hefty student loan or a credit card debt that's been hovering like a dark cloud. In such a case, you might need to temporarily tweak the rule, channeling more than 10% of your income towards your financial goals to clear that debt faster. And that's perfectly okay. Remember, the rule is your guide, not your jailer. On the flip side, if you're fortunate to have a higher income, you might find that you can comfortably cover your needs with less than 70% of your income. In this case, you could consider allocating more towards your wants or goals. Maybe you want to indulge in a fancy vacation, or perhaps you're eyeing early retirement. The choice is yours. The beauty of the 70-20-10 rule is that it promotes awareness of your spending habits. It helps you distinguish between your needs and wants, and encourages you to consciously allocate money towards your future goals. It's like a financial mirror, reflecting back your spending patterns and nudging you towards better money habits. Moreover, this rule helps you achieve your financial goals, whether it's buying a house, starting a business, or building an emergency fund. It's like your personal financial trainer pushing you to flex your savings muscle and build financial resilience. So don't fret if your budget doesn't fit perfectly into the 70-20-10 mold. The rule is more of a starting point, a guide to help you navigate your financial journey. It's not about perfection, but progression. It's about making conscious decisions about where your money goes, and adjusting as needed to fit your unique financial landscape. So, the 70-20-10 rule is your guide, not your master. Feel free to tweak it to fit your unique financial landscape. Okay, let's do a quick rewind. What's this 70-20-10 rule again? Let's it down in a jiffy. This budgeting rule is a simple yet powerful tool to manage your finances. It's like a financial pie, where you slice your after-tax income into three categories. The biggest slice, 70%, is for your needs. These are the essentials, the non-negotiables. We're talking rent or mortgage, groceries, utilities, and minimum debt payments. Basically all the things that keep our lives running on a daily basis. The next slice, 20%, is for your wants. These are the fun stuff, the indulgences. Be it that fancy dinner, your gym subscription, or that course on underwater basket weaving you've been eyeing, this slice makes sure you're not just surviving, but also enjoying life. The smallest but mightiest slice, 10%, is for your goals. This is your golden ticket to a secure financial future. Whether it's saving for retirement, building an emergency fund, or paying off debt than the minimums, this slice is all about long-term planning. But remember, this rule is not set in stone. It's flexible. If your circumstances require you to off more debt, you can tweak the percentages. The key is to make it work for you. You're the chef here, so feel free to adjust the recipe to your taste. And the benefits? Oh, they're plenty. The 70-20-10 rule promotes awareness of your spending habits, encourages saving, and helps you achieve your financial goals. It's like having a personal financial advisor, but without the hefty fees. Now it's your turn. How would you slice your financial pie? Share your budgeting experiences or questions in the comments. Let's learn together, one dollar at a time. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more financial wisdom. Let's master our money together.